Hey guys, Weeby News here. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new Danganronpa V3 silhouettes that were released with the new Danganronpa V3 trailer. Just a disclaimer, none of these opinions are fact and are all just speculation since we have very little to no information regarding these characters so far. Also, I will be using the original portrait in the Danganronpa V3 trailer but also an outline version of it made by a Tumblr user who goes by the name Mini Starfruit and a close-up of the original Danganronpa V3 poster that includes some of the silhouette figures in it also. This was posted on Tumblr by um, Mirror Clear Garden and I'll be putting links to both of their blogs in the description if you guys want to check those out. So looking at the picture as a whole, we see that on the left side there are all girls and on the right side there are all boys. The interesting thing about this is that when we compare this to the other silhouettes in Danganronpa 1 and um, Super Danganronpa 2, we see that the characters are all mixed and there's no gender separation whatsoever. So what this could mean personally, I think, is that maybe Monokuma is setting up the boys against the girls in this new game, or vice versa, and um, I think it could also mean that maybe they're trying to trick us by putting a girl on the boy side, or a boy on the girl side, just to trick us while we're trying to analyze these things, because I think they do know that we sort of sit down <laughs> and look at these things and try and analyze the crap out of them. So the first characters I'm going to be analyzing are the ones theorized to be the Warriors of Hope as of right now. And the first one is the girl on the far left corner, and I've seen a lot of people online saying that they believe she could possibly be Kodoko from Dying Up Another Episode. And I'm guessing the reason for this is because if you look closely at both of their character designs, you can see several similarities, including the way the hair is cut. You can notice that they both have the straight cut hair. Also, the sleeves on the silhouette character are similar to Kodoko's sleeves because they sort of have that Victorian sort of style that pooches out. And um, although it's a lot less on Kodoko's design, it still sort of has that feel to it. The next character I'm going to look at is the character that I've seen a lot of people sort of theorize is Nagisa, and the reason for this is obviously because this character resembles Nagisa's hair, but like I said before in my trailer analysis, I definitely think this is a female character, because if you look at the poster you can see a far greater outline that makes it look like she's wearing a skirt versus the shorts that were drawn in this outline, so that's personally my opinion on the matter. But if you did want to continue with this theory, there is also a character right here that is also on what is believed to be the female side that looks like Jotaro from another episode. If you compare his concept art to this design, you can sort of see that um, him and this character both have similar haircuts, and also you can see his apron covers up only one of his legs while it looks like it is the same thing in this character's silhouette. I figured I'd just point these out to you guys. I know a lot of you, including myself, are sort of hoping that the Warriors of Hope will make another appearance, but as I've said before, I really think that they are more likely to make an appearance in the anime versus this. But depending on what happens in the anime, I guess it is possible they could show up on this. And I do say that because um, Kadaka has sort of implied that the anime will be releasing before Danganronpa V3. As for some of the other characters on the girl's side, I noticed one character wearing a Victorian dress. Her character sort of reminds me of Sonya since she's wearing that royal Victorian looking outfit from the silhouette. So I think it's very possible that she's sort of going to have an elegant talent, maybe something like an ultimate seamstress or something along those lines. She seems to have um, short hair also, which sort of resembles um, Mahiri's haircut from Super Danganronpa 2, but I'm not really sure if there's a connection there. The female character standing next to her is a very short girl who looks to be a witch. And the reason I say this is because looking at the silhouette, we can see that there is almost an outline of a witch hat that she's wearing. And it also sort of looks like she is levitating in comparison to the other characters in the Danganronpa V3 poster. So this sort of leads me to believe that she will be the ultimate magician or Wiccan or witch or something along those lines. Also, it looks like she's holding a sort of wand or something behind her as well, which sort of emphasizes my point. The female character next to who I thought sort of resembles Jotaro from these silhouettes reminds me of Kamaru or Kanon Nakajima. And I say Kamaru because this character has an ahoge, and it's very long and it points the same direction as hers. Also, she seems to be around the same height as Kamaru as well. And the reason I mentioned Canon is slightly out of selfish reasons, <laughs> because I would love to see her in this game, but also because her hoge points in the same direction as Kamaru's, and it looks as if it could be just as long if it wasn't pulled back by the ribbon she usually wears. So from this, I'm really just saying that I think this character could have similarities to them, although I think it would be really cool to see Canon or Kamaru in this game, same as the Warriors of Hope. 
There's another girl standing next to her as well, and this girl's model reminds me of Kirigiri's or Maizano's character designs because she seems to have um, very long hair that stands out in strands and is very sort of big like theirs. Other than that, I really don't have a lot to say about her because there's nothing really that I can see that is important from her character design as of right now, just that she may be another um, sort of empowered female character like Maizano or Kirigiri's. Next, I'm going to talk about the large man next to the Twin Tails girl. And this character design really makes me think of Kinshiro, and if you don't know who he is, he was Sakura Ugami's person of interest that was captured by the remnants of despair in another episode, and I'm guessing that he will sort of fill the role as the athletic character, which sort of makes me wonder if they will be reusing the similar character types that they did in Danganronpa 1 and Super Danganronpa 2. I wouldn't see any reason for them to repeat this pattern, especially since they're trying to emphasize the new aspect of this game. But this character does sort of make me think otherwise since he sort of fills the Ugami and Nekomaru design perfectly. The two guys standing next to him are interesting to me because they are the only two characters whose positions change from the silhouette to the poster. I don't know if this really means anything. I know that Kadaka recently revealed a new super high school level character, which he does from time to time on Twitter, and most of which these aren't official, but the last one he introduced was the super high school level imitator, who is supposed to have a talent for being able to fix things or imitate others perfectly, and he also mentioned that he had a sidekick. The thing that stands out about this character to me is that when he introduced it, he included that he was writing a scenario for this person and his sidekick in the tweet, so it could imply that this character could be included in Danganronpa V3, so just from that I could see maybe that these two characters are the imitator and his sidekick just from this little switch up that they had from the poster to the silhouettes. The guy sitting right next to the Fujisaki looking character, I have not come up with a lot to say about him, unfortunately. Just sort of that he resembles a mix between Hajime and um, Nagi's designs based off of the silhouettes. But other than that, I really don't see any sort of importance in this particular video that I can talk about him in. But the character that is standing next to him that sort of looks similar to Fujisaki or even um, Chiaki's beta designs is sort of interesting to me. I know a lot of people have already speculated that the robot will have connections to Fujisaki, like maybe that he was the one who built the robot, but I think this character does really resemble him and I think it could possibly be maybe like a cyborg AI or something like that. It might be a little far-fetched, but um, it was just something I sort of thought of while looking at this. It also sort of looks like there's something on the back of his legs, almost like blades or something, or maybe this character is some sort of AI cyborg, just like Robot Knight and it's just part of his design. So the last character I'm going to talk about is this teeny tiny character that a lot of people really didn't even see when the silhouettes first came out. I remember that one of you in the comment section um, said to me that you thought this was another person that um, had been speculated to um, also be Nagisa because he also has a sort of similar hair to the other character that I talked about earlier. I think there have been some people that may have speculated about this. I still think they are a lot more likely to show up in the Danganronpa 3 anime, but I could see why people believe this to be Nagisa. But from looking at this, I think he could sort of be connected to the other girl who resembles this hairstyle. Like maybe they're related or they both have a similar headpiece that symbolizes their connection in another way, whether it be a fashion trend or a gang or something. This is supposed to be the gifted inmates prison, so I wouldn't be shocked if it was sort of a gang helmet or something like that. But this concludes my silhouette analysis. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it took a lot longer than I had originally expected to post it. My vacation ran about a day over, and once I sat down and started trying to do this, I realized I'd need to do a little more research to make it a quality video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more Danganronpa content and updates, and I will see you guys real soon.